To begin setting up the Liebeck tripod provided by the documentary lab, first remove it from the carrying case. The feet of the tripod are adjustable for use on different surfaces. They can be left in their flat mode for use on hard surfaces, or unscrewed to reveal pointed tips for use on soft surfaces. To expand the legs of the tripod, first flip open the wire clip on the bottom. Turn the tripod over and pull the legs out. Press down on the metal bracket in the middle. To expand the length of the legs, flip open the locking mechanism on each of the legs and pull the tripod up. Then flip close the locking mechanism to lock the legs into place. Here's a closer view. The height of the tripod can be further increased by following the same procedures on the second set of locking mechanisms. To remove the connector plate, which attaches the camera to the tripod, flip open the latch and lift up on the plate. The plate has two pins, a spring-loaded one and a threaded one. Align the pins with the spring loaded towards the front of the camera and gently screw it in, being careful not to strip the threads. To reattach the connector plate to the tripod, flip open the latch, position the plate directly over the tripod and press down. The latch will close partially by itself, but you need to lock it further into place. The handle on the tripod allows you to move the camera without touching it. To position it for use, loosen the knob, flip the handle up, and tighten the knob. To pan with the tripod, loosen the lower knob. Utilize the handle for steady movement back and forth. To lock the camera into one place, retighten the knob. To tilt with the camera, loosen the upper knob and again utilize the handle for steady movement. To lock it back into place, retighten the latch. The tripod is equipped with a leveling feature that uses a gimbal joint at the top of the tripod. Loosen the knob and use the handle to position the camera. Retighten the knob to lock the camera into place, using the bubble indicator to be sure the camera is level. When you're done using the tripod, remove the camera from the tripod and remove the connector plate from the camera. Reattach the plate to the tripod and lock it into place before putting the tripod back into the carrying case.